What's going on there guys? Good morning, good Saturday morning. It is the uh, weekend. December 4th, 2021 is the date. Early morning here. Well, not super early morning here in California. About 9 o'clock a.m. California time, of course. Latest quake out there on the Earthquake 3D globe showing up here around the Hawaii area out there in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Overnight, we did see some uptick in earthquake activity south of the border into the Baja California region once again where we've seen a 5.1 and a couple other earthquakes working their way up um, through the Gulf of California. Let's go ahead and look at the latest earthquake activity here on a different scaled map so you can see the activity kicking off there overnight. Uh, we did we were kind of watching an area down here along the Brawley seismic zone and the Imperial Fault uh, last night when I was doing an update video. Uh, we did see some seismic increase. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Good Lord. That was great. Sneeze on the update. I think that's only happened once before. So twice now. Anyway, we were watching some update, uh, some earthquake activity on the Brawley seismic zone. Uh, let's see if we can bring up the all magnitudes here and check it out. We we're looking out. There we go. A little bit of... Uh, Earthquake activity stretching from the Salton Sea down southward uh, prior to this earthquake activity overnight. <clears throat> Since then, we've seen a swarm of movement on the Imperial Fault southward. And I'm sure this continues uh, down here through the Baja California area, just uh, not showing up here on the USGS map as uh, far as the microquake activity goes. But uh, we did see some further pressure down here south with a 4.6 and even further south. Uh, with a larger earthquake with a 5.1 kicking off overnight. So a lot of movement specifically about from the Garlock Fault structure south uh, into the Baja California region overnight. And that includes areas on the Pacific side of this plate boundary with some increased activity uh, right around these mountains here. San Jacinto Mountains, San Jacinto Fault Zone here all showing some seismic increase uh, overnight and specifically uh, within the last hour including a 2.0 very shallow earthquake but uh, that's kind of uh, within the the mountains there also some activity over here to the west and this uh, 1.5 this one's pretty deep 23 kilometers uh, there it looks like Pala 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 somewhere around there uh, it's where that uh, 1.5 struck pretty deep below the surface <clears throat> so kind of watching the activity here folks in Southern California today uh, up to the north on the North American plate. Looks pretty uh, quiet, doesn't it? A lot of, not a whole lot of movement. And this is the all magnitudes map. So things calming down uh, throughout the Northern California region. Areas north into the Pacific Northwest, all quiet as well. Look at this, through the Intermountain West regions, Idaho. Wow, pretty much absent of earthquake activity. A couple, except for a couple small, very small uh, microquakes in this region of uh, Dillon, Montana, Yellowstone looks pretty quiet as well. Let me check that real quick and see if I can uh, look at the live seismographs. Yep, all things look pretty quiet there for now. Uh, not a whole lot moving through the Southern Plains or Texas area. Just kind of focus right now on this area where we're watching that uh, little swarm of activity. Pacific Ring of Fire looking pretty quiet as well through the uh, Gulf of Alaska regions uh, to the west, Lucian Trench, all quiet. While I'm at it, let's go ahead and check out the uh, uh, Cascadia Northern End off the coast of Canada. Show the earthquake activity up here. Uh, if we can get this map to pop up, I'm sure it will. Unless they're having some issues. Which they might be, it kind of looks like they are. Not for sure why. All right, we'll have to get back to that. Oh, there we go. Okay, kind of kicked up there. A little bit of movement looks like up here to the north. 3.6, that was last night, <clears throat> late last night. Since then, it doesn't look like there's been any renewed earthquake activity. That's a uh, 3.6 up there in the uh, British Columbia area off the coast of Vancouver Island. Um, all this activity from the prior week, I don't see any renewed movement uh, to the north or south uh, along the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, over here around Japan, 
Not a whole lot kicking off either. Did have a 4.8 into the Kuril Kamchatka Trench. 77.5 kilometers uh, below the surface there into the subduction zone. Area south as well, except for a little 4.9 in the East China Sea. That one pretty shallow. Uh, still seeing a little trail of activity stretching from the Indonesia region backward towards the uh, Vanuatu area. Some deeper movement taking place there, but uh, kind of at a standstill at the moment. South America has gone extremely quiet. We did have this South Sandwich uh, uh, Trench earthquake kickoff. It looks like uh, 1427, so that was, uh, what do we got, 1427, just a couple hours ago. We had that 5.9, that region down there seen a six-pointer and some other earthquake activity over the last week. So looking like things kicking up a little bit in the South Sandwich region, that 5.9 well inland, but still shallow. 10 kilometers, this was a shallow earthquake as well. Prior to these two, we were looking at some deeper movement back towards the trench area. So could be an impending sign of uh, potentially something larger than a 6.0 kicking up in this region. Of course, they had that large earthquake uh, a couple months ago down there, so it's very possible we could see upper 6, 7 magnitude earthquake in that region for an aftershock sequence. Uh, let's see what else we got here in the Puerto Rico area. Pretty quiet, uh, except for this one, kind of watching this 4.2, 184 kilometers, pretty deep movement around the Puerto Rico trench region to south of there, but uh, nonetheless, some activity kicking up working its way towards the Puerto Rico Trench. We'll keep an eye on that. Trimmer activity last night, of course, seen some movement out here in the uh, coast of Oregon, central coast of Oregon region. Also Northern California and a little couple specks up here in the north, but this little area right here in the, uh, I kind of call it the odd zone. The reason why is because a lot of movement, trimmer activity tends to skip this region. Uh, if you look at a broad um, months long map of trimmer acti activity you'll see that it stretches pretty much from north here all the way up along down the coast and to the south here to about northern California at the southern end uh, and always tends to always tends to skip this area <coughs> for some reason <coughs> wow Woo! I think I need some caffeine some coffee maybe it's a little foggy out here in California right now sub with a window open so it's a little cold in the house. <clears throat> I kind of like to sleep with the with the cool air coming in. And boy, did it get cold last night, let me tell you. Uh, so yeah, just kind of watching this region. We'll see what happens later uh, with the update here on the trimmer. Kind of curious to see will it, if this is going to continue to fill in uh, at the Cascadia subduction zone. So, All right, folks, got a pretty busy day. Going to get up, get some caffeine. Uh, like I said, there's that trail of activity from... Uh, Vanuatu working its way west. Looks like overnight we did see some further movement south here into the Carlsberg Ridge 4.9. That was yesterday. So yeah, just kind of kind of watching the map here today, folks. We will be back a little bit later. Uh, with an update video this afternoon, this evening, sometime. So enjoy your, enjoy your Saturday morning, and we'll chat at you guys a little bit later. Peace out.